Hello mariners welcome to my channel today we would be studying about boilers we'll study boilers from the perspective of mu class 4 exams so today in this lecture we'll try to cover the basics of boiler so we'll start so before starting let us know that why we need boilers for that first we have to answer the question that why we need steam on board so there are many uses of steam on board first it could be in winters you have to heat the accommodation so for heating accommodation for heating the cargo as some cargo requires a specific temperature that needs to be maintained okay so and for heating heavy fuel oil for purification of heavy fuel oil okay for heating sludge sludge is the waste of the machineries on board so before that has to be incinerated we have to first heat it so for heating the sludge and for, of course for heating the water okay all these operations are only possible because of steam on board ships so before understanding the basic of boilers let's get into the basic of steam first okay so we won't be going into that deep about steam but we'll look upon it okay so there are basically three types of steam wet steam saturated steam and superheated steam so this wet steam have water vapors along with the steam okay the second is saturated steam it is 100% dry, dry and does not contain any water vapor so the amount of vapors present in the steam can be exp expressed by the steam dryness fraction if the steam contain 10% of water by mass it is said to be 90% dry or have the dryness fraction of 0.9 okay so friends steam dryness fraction is very important as it has a direct effect on the total amount of transferable please listen to the word transferable energy contained within the steam i will repeat this line steam dryness fraction is very important as it has a direct effect on the total amount of transferable energy contained within the steam okay so on board as we will use the steam for mainly two purpose for heating or for getting power output through machinery such as turbines okay so in case we are using the steam for turbine it has to be completely moisture free so that it does not cause erosion to the piping or the turbine blades okay these are very basics we would have already studied this in our engineering okay so the issue with the saturated steam is that when it travels through the steam line it may lose its heat to the surrounding because of which it starts to condense and it will not be as dry when it reaches our turbine okay so for that what we have to do we have to we have to again heat the saturated steam and make it as a superheated steam which has a dryness fraction more than 1 so that from the point after the boiler exit or okay first i have to go uh, for making it a superheated steam we have to again heat the steam okay so we have to use a super heater for that for again heating the steam okay so <clears throat> so as we have to make sure that it does not lose its energy again so that's why we are bringing the dryness fraction above 1 okay so these were the basics of steams when we have not got into much detail but for knowledge purpose we must know it okay so now we would like to start with boilers so the basic basics of boilers is the type of boilers okay so there are basically two types of boiler that you will find on board nowadays that is water tube boiler and smoke tube boiler in water tube boiler the basic difference between the smoke and the water tube boiler is in water tube boiler water circulate inside the tubes 
and hot few gases are outside the tubes okay in smoke tube boiler if smoke the hot few gases are inside the tube and water is outside okay so as you can you have already seen the diagrams okay so there is friends there is very important question that the surveyor may be asking you is the basic difference between water tube and smoke tube boilers so i have uh, found out four to five more differences for you okay so first we'll go with the smoke tube boiler okay smoke tube boiler has lower rate of evaporation whereas water tube boiler has, has a higher rate of evaporation smoke tube boiler has low pressure boiler and water tube boiler is higher pressure boiler smoke tube boiler is less compact in size okay whereas water tube boiler is very much compact in size smoke tube boiler is mainly used where the steam demand is low and water tube boiler is used where the steam demand is high okay in smoke tube boiler as the water is not flowing through the tubes so we do not need much control over the quality of the water whereas in water tube boiler the the water is flowing inside the tubes so it is very much necessary to have a good control over the quality of water in smoke tube boiler has more storage capacity for steam and whereas water tube boiler the storage capacity for steam holding is less okay so friends these were the difference between the water tube and smoke tube boiler hope you understand like the video so please if you have learned anything new please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon i would be coming with the complete series of boiler this was the first lecture so, so you go on my channel and see the second one lecture okay we'll be making the complete series of other boiler thank you friends have a nice day